Hey guys, it's your girl Niyoshi, and I want to thank you for tuning into this frequency called Niyoshi Hypno. <laughs> I'm a clinical and transpersonal hypnotherapist, best known for my hypnosis and past life regression sessions. I believe that we're here, we're each placed here in this earth at this time, this very unique, specific time on earth uh, for a particular reason. Um, me, my purpose is to assist with, um, I guess you could say the ascension, somebody would call, <laughs> but, um, my purpose here in this life is to help you heal your soul, break through blockages and align with your divine purpose. I do this through my sessions. Um, I also, in my sessions, help connect with your guides, ancestors, um, and be able to understand and hear your higher self more clearly. Um, I am not for everybody. <laughs> Let's get that out the way. But if you're here, I feel like your guides have led you to me because I hear that a lot of my sessions. Your guides have led me, led you to um, this video, which means that there's something in it for you. And I'm, you know, blessed. And I feel blessed and thankful to be able to assist you um, and receiving whatever information you might receive from this video. This video that I'm going to show with you right now it's unique. It's very special. Um, all of my sessions are, but I wanted to share this specific video with you um, as I have my other videos. Um, keep in mind, I did get permission from my clients to share this session. Um, so it may not be, you know, be, most likely it's not the whole session, but you have a very important part of the session um, that may hold something for you. And I hope that you can get something out of this. So in a second, I'll show you that video. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this whenever they're posted. You can also click the bell there to get an alert whenever it's posted. Um, if you like this video as well, be sure to thumbs up, share with someone you think that might it may be able to help as well. Um, okay, I guess that's enough to talk about me and everything else. <laughs> Here's a video. I hope you enjoy. It's a day or night. Hey, the sun is so bright. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? I feel like there's others, but they're not too close. Mm -hmm. You feel young or old there? Adults. Young adults. What age do you feel? 22. You feel male or female there? Female. Mm -hmm. What's the temperature like there in that place? Oh, it's so hot. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? White. It's like a... Dress your shroud. It's tied at the waist. I feel a sandal on my feet. But it's feels like Egypt. Describe your hair. Such whip sand. But smooth. Gold. Just a sliding on gold. Just I see gold. Your hair is gold? No, my hair. It's like a dark brown. And the gold that you see around you, what do you notice this on your body? Some around my neck, like a drape. Mm -hmm. It's just the sun, sand, mm -hmm. off a bit. Repeat that. I've walked off a bit. Mm -hmm. Not far from people, but just admiring the place around me. I'm in the middle of the desert. Mm -hmm. What color is your skin there? Brown. I want you to get a sense of the size and statue, size and stature of your body. What do you notice there? Oh, a medium height. Mm -hmm. Brown skin. Mm -hmm. Something on my head. Tell me more about that. It's white. Um, it's secure, but it's white. And there's statues around me. Pharaoh is like that. Repeat that. Pharaoh is tall and it has uh, a base. It's just tall and white, like a cream color. It's like an entrance to a temple. Temple so well preserved, clean, sacred ground. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. I could see inside 
the walls and area are really tall and the architecture sharp. No area left um, unthought about. It's uh, like stone. Everything is so nicely carved. And there's jewels. But there's something in the middle. It's like a something raised, like a sarcophagus. It's, it's raised, but that's not my focus. But I just know I can't walk straight. I have to walk around it. Go there to pray. Mm -hmm. The sun, there's an area. Uh, it's almost like a light, like an area where light comes in from the sun. And that's where I go to pray. That's why I love the sun. These people are, that were off in distance, are they still there? Yeah, a little bit further out. What are they doing? Guarding. They seem to protect me, but I don't want them too close up on me. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. They're men, tall. They also are in white, but it seems like um, not a hood, but something to protect their skin from the sun. It's almost like they have like rope or something like around their neck to tie, to shield from the sun and its elements. But they have their hands behind their back. There's three of them and they respect my wishes. Mm -hmm. These men, do they look like you or are they different? They're lighter, but still brown skin. And what thoughts go through your mind about them? They listen to me. Ship boots. This place that you're in, does it feel like a place where you live or a place where you're visiting? I go here frequently, but this is not where I live. I pray and I'm blessed. I see a bird, like a, a gold bird statue. Wow. Strong, big, but just he protects me and I'm obedient. Tell me more about that, that stone bird statue. How does it protect you? It is where I am, and he fulfills the promise. I made a promise. They fulfill the promise. They're always what, on. Mm -hmm. what promise is that you made? That worship, worship keeps me from my enemies. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What year is it there for you? Six fifty BC. And what's your name? What do people call you? Ashaput. Repeat that. Ashaput. Ashapit. Hashapit. Hatshipit. Hashaput. Hatshipit. Hashaput. Okay. Hashaput. Hashaput. What's happening there now? The sun. Stay. Ra. Stay with Ra. And I pray. I receive messages. I bring it out to the people. And the people revere me, but they're not truthful. Tell me more about that. I, I can get people to do what I want, but they're scared. So I don't, it's hard to keep people close and genuine to me. I have to be mindful of my position. It's like when I speak, I never am close to people. I'm always speaking over an area where I am high and they are low. I want the people to prosper, but they don't believe. They don't believe. Tell me more about that. What don't they believe? They don't believe in the messages. They act like they do, but they live like they don't. They just believe they could free themselves, their own personal problems. So many poor around me in the town, in the city. They work, work like slaves, little to eat, but I don't have that problem. I want to help them, but I jeopardize my position. If I do too much. I'm Tell me more. I'm the queen. Tell me more about that. How would that jeopardize your position? I'll be seen as weak. I'm not worthy. Mm -hmm. The people that are there that you're referring to, do they look like you or are they different? They're slightly uh, brown skin. I'm the darkest. They are lighter than me, but they are dark. they always on guard. I never left them alone. At minimum, somebody is outside the door. And I have this beautiful big room. It's canopy, it's jewels, gold. I'm happy. I'm missing something, but I'm happy. Tell me more about what, what you're missing. 
sooner. I know that it'll be best for my position if I lead alone. I keep people close, but not that close. And that's the problem. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about that. Why is that a problem? People learn their weaknesses and they fight you. We have kept the city and the land from going to war, even though the people are not in a good position. I don't want anybody to die. Let that scene play out there. Anything else significant happened there that day? They're coming to tell me something. There's people running to tell me something. Someone is approaching the land. There may be a threat. I seem to be not concerned. I send out men to see this. It's not a problem. Trade. An offer for trade. Father. It's fine. We have enough. I'm going to put. Anything else in this place stands out to you? I write letters, musings, thoughts. It's beautiful, solid desk. Read my best work. Very good. Anything else significant happened there that day? No, but the light, the light of God. So I want you to go ahead and close that scene. Now close that scene. I want you to move to another significant event. Again, in that same lifetime where something else important is happening. Be there now. Seem to be a young girl. Repeat that. A young girl. I'll be there. No. No. What are you doing there? Receiving a gift. It's like a large stone. Repeat that. It's like a large stone, but it's in a cloak. Who's with you there? It's old man. It's a large stone. I don't know why he's doing this stone. He's really excited. I'm confused. But there's something I'm supposed to keep with me. And the stone, it gleams like purple. Wizard. People are weary of him. But mm-hmm. my family trusts him. Describe this man. What does he look like? He's a little dirty. A little dirty. Older. Short. Brown skin. Scruff. Nothing form fitting. Everything is gone on him. And wherever I am is dark. It's like a cave. Concealed, hidden in plain sight. My mom, father, seems like two others are with me while I'm receiving this. It's, um, this is before I rose, but this is supposed to help me. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, but it's very large and very heavy. Tell me more about how this stone is supposed to help you. I keep it with me. It helps helps with power, guidance. As I age, I, I keep it with me. It's in the corner of my room, not far from my desk. It's beautiful. Parents are excited. Describe your parents. What do they look like? Brown. My mom is lighter brown. My dad is darker skin. They also wear white. And they are revered within the community. We have a good relationship. They want the best for me. And any communication between you and your parents? They step back a bit to let me have and receive. But they're right there. Mm-hmm. Seems like the other two are guards. Again, close, but not that close. Mm-hmm. And what about the man that gave this to you? Any conversation, communication between you and him? He tells me of the stone, and he places it ever so gently in my hand, but it's heavy. As I age, I'll understand more about it. That's okay. it. Okay. I want you to connect with the energy of the, your parents there and that man. Do you recognize any of the energies as anyone in your pre- <clears throat> present life? No. Very good. So let that scene play out there. Anything else significant happened there that day? Sun is always new. No. Very good. You talked about being in a cave where you're a very dark space right there where you're receiving this stone. Why are you there in that place to receive it? It's my time to begin the legacy, to begin the rise to power. And I must learn. I must learn the way in which to go. And bit by bit, I'm given what is required of me. So I can master it. 
to see this man, to learn prophecy. And I'm fulfilling you. People don't trust him, but his words are proven are true. They don't trust him because of how he looks. And they can't believe what they can't see. Thank you. I want you to go ahead and close that scene now. Close that scene. I want you to go to another significant event again in that same lifetime there where something else important is happening. I'm fighting. This man is I'm strong. He wants to be with me. Yes. I, I keep rejecting him. Um, seems like I have like a dagger. I'm trying to stab him and fight him off. How old are you there? 13, and he's older. Mm, who is this person you're fighting? Uh, Describe. Strong, um, very muscular, tall, dark black hair, strong facial, facial features. Yeah, I don't, it's so hard, so hard to fight. Are you alone as you're fighting him? Yes. Are you inside or outside? Like a tunnel. It seems like the city has underground catacomb staff. You feel like you know this man? Yes. 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 And how do you know him? Friend of the family. He's, he's too old. It's it's a hard fight, but I get him on. Any conversation between you two as you're fighting there? I'm using all my might. Not too much. It's a struggle, stuffing, pushing, yielding, pushing, and yielding. He doesn't die, but he's badly wounded. Mm -hmm. I have blood on my hands, and I'm aggravated. Tell me about why you're fighting there. Uh, what? Tell me about why you're fighting there. He wants me. He's trying to, to, to take me. And I've had enough. i take you for what reason? He wants to take me to bed. I don't want to. I make my way out. 13. I was only 13. How do you feel there? Anger. Oh, Right. There's blood on me. The, um, the guard for my family, he comes to find and help me. I can't let anybody know that this happened. What thoughts go through your mind about that? Rage. Disgust. I'll always win. So let that scene play out there. Anything else significant happened there that day? When you wash the blood off my body. I want you to connect with the energy of that man that attacked you. Do you recognize his energy as anyone in your present life? Yes. This is a family member tried to touch me when I was 12. I told my mother. I told my mother. I want you to go ahead and close that scene now. Close that scene. I want you to move to another significant event, again, in that same lifetime where something else important is happening. Be there now. Yes. Tell me what's happening inside or outside. We in a cotton field, bro. Cotton field? Cotton field. Mass and ain't bees. Mass and ain't bees. Oh, he got on my dad's name. Oh, he greedy. All he want is cat, cat, cat. Oh, he picked till I am bleed. Oh, my God. The sun is so hot. Oh, but we sing. We make the best of it, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, that fucking cut. Thorn in my hand. Oh. What age do you feel then? 48. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? Female. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others there? Oh, we stick close in the cotton field. Oh, there's a man. He look after me. We were taken together. Mm -hmm. From the same land. Older man. He look after me like I'm his child. And we pick and we pick and we pick. But we sing in the field. We hold on to hope. The only thing we look forward to is death. 
Uh, many, many, many.
now that you have everything again, you're going to take all that with you when you go. Before I help you go, though, is there anything else you want to share with? Remember, you strong, John. You bring light to the world. It's okay. You'll be all right. Thank you so much, Bertha. Tia, let me know when Bertha's gone. She's gone. I feel so light.